and this is the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. This is the best kept secret himself, Buddy Murphy, and Buddy is about to take the mic, and Buddy's about to let us know his thoughts, what's going on in the world of Buddy Murphy. Two oh five live audience, I like to welcome you now to a new dawn of Buddy Murphy. That's right, that's all I'm gonna call it, the dawn of Murphy. See, last week Akira Tozawa and his team lost. And they lost to me and my team, and we took care of business. See after last week's big win for me, Tony Nese and Mike Canellis, Mike Canellis has seen the light and now he knows how and where to find the key to success at 205 Live. But before I get to Mike Canellis and Tony Nese and congratulate them on their big honors, I want to talk about Akira Tozawa. Akira, you and I are set to do battle for your Cruiserweight Championship at Starcade. And when the time does come at Starcade, I'm going to take your championship. See, because Akira, you don't know your place in life. You don't know your place in my roster, on my show. See, you think you're special. You think you're a champion. You're a lot like these people who think they're special too. But, but really, they're not. They're just insignificant little drones. That all they do... It's think they're special, believe they're special, and hope that one day, one day that special moment comes up for them. But guess what? What's going to happen to all of you people here? Just going to work your life and then die. While I, Buddy Murphy, I'm going to take my Cruiserweight Championship and walk out of Starcade as Cruiserweight Champion and bring a new dawn to 205 Live. Yes, that's right. But for Tony Nice and Mike Canellis, tonight's your night to shine, boys. Tonight, you're going to prove to everyone, especially that shrimp-ass general manager, Drake Maverick, why you two deserve to be the first-ever Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions. And tonight, my gang, you guys are going to make me proud. Buddy Murphy, hoping uh, his boys make him proud tonight. There is a huge uh, eight-man tag team matchup tonight. It's a two versus two versus two versus two. And it's a big matchup because the Cruiserweight tag team titles are on, not on the line, but they're... Welcome back. This is the first match of the night here on 205 Live. It's going to feature the man with the plan, Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick ready to prove to a newcomer to 205 Live that he doesn't belong here yet or that he needs to pay his dues to get to the top of 205 Live. When Brian Kendrick tonight does battle with Isaiah Swerve Scott. And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 201 pounds. Isaiah Scott tonight gets a big chance to face a guy who's been a veteran of 205 Live, a veteran of the WWE, in the Brian Kendrick. The Brian Kendrick doesn't want you to forget who he is, does not want you to forget what he has done, but uh, he could soon be forgotten here if he can't get rid of Isaiah Swerve Scott. 
Swerve Scott definitely one of the most talented uh, members of 205 Live that we have got. And this kid, this kid's got something. He participates in NXT and 205 Live. So you could also catch him on 205, uh, NXT TV as well. And Scott telling Brian Kendrick, it's, it's you and me now. And Brian Kendrick's like, no, no, it's my show. This is my time. You're just a, a free match for me. And Kendrick is telling Swerve Scott, no, 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 you stay down. And now Swerve's like, all right. And Swerve Scott right there, quick to Isaiah, is telling him, hey, you wanted this. You got the fight for me. Come on. And Brian Kendrick right now telling the ref, hey, my head hurts, ref. I, I ain't got feeling good. And oh, look at Brian Kendrick, the veteran move right there by the Brian Kendrick. And he's bringing the fight right now to Swerve Scott right here. As Brian Kendrick now. Oh, stop the Look at this. Look at Brian. This is what makes him. This is what's kept him up so long here in 205 Live and what's allowed him to be a star. Brian Kendrick doing anything and everything. A former tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion. Brian Kendrick has done a lot here in his time in the WWE. Man, uh, was one, once one of the longest reigning tag team champions in SmackDown history. That's uh, something that Brian Kendrick held proud. And look at the Brian Kendrick here. Pinfall right here. Hoping for a pin, hoping for a win, and a kick out. 205 Live crowd not very excited with Brian Kendrick. And Brian Kendrick doesn't feel the same way either. He just told him to shove off. He was, showing, he was showing himself off right now. Now Swerve, Swerve in trouble. Swerve got tossed out. Swerve Scott got tossed out. And the referee telling Brian Kendry, you can't go out there, man. Now what's Swerve doing? Swerve, drop it. Don't, don't go under there. That's never a good thing for anybody. And here comes Brian's like, hey, there's a weapon out there, ref. They're, don't make him drop the weapon, ref. And now Swerve Scott. Coming back into the ring, and Brian Kendrick right back to the attack and a headbutt. Headbutts right here. And Brian Kendrick is in control of the matchup right now. The man with the plan is telling the fans, look at me. Look at what you've got to behold. You guys want a new toy? You guys want a new guy? You guys don't want to cherish what you have in front of you, huh? And again, Brian, going to let him meet that top rope. And Kendrick trying to glint. Look at this. This is inside the fans. Behold, you've got the best thing here. And Brian Kendrick speed by Swerve Scott. That right there is why you don't sleep on an opponent like Scott. He just dropped the big kick to Brian Kendrick and might have just changed this outcome of the match here. And look at Scott. I love it. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Delivering kicks and the speed of the kid, man. God's definitely coming out here for a win. Swerve going high risk. Brian Kendrick does not know what the hell is about to happen to him, so he better turn around. Brian, good night. Drop kick to the back of the head. And Swerve Scott says, it's my time to take advantage of this situation here. Swerve Scott, drop down, jump up. And now we know Swerve Scott suplexing the life out of the Brian Kendrick right there. And a kick out by Kendrick. Look at that kick, man. This guy. This guy's got hops. This guy's got ability. This guy's got something. And the crowd here love what they're seeing from Swerve Scott. What sweat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the f What is that? That's that's a it's like a it's like a tilt to world stunner. Pinfall here and Brian Kendrick kicks out. Could have been out for uh for a while there, but Kendrick finds a way. Big kick that knocks down Kendrick. And high rest time. Swerve Scott. Splash. Splash by Scott. And Scott's like, panic. Here we go. It's a win. And I kick out by Kendrick again. And Swerve Scott's thinking to himself, I got to beat him. And now Brian's up. Brian's right behind you. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, face forward. Face forward suplex right there. Front end hitting. Uh, the bottom of the mat. There you go. And now Brian Kendrick. Oh, I've seen this before from Brian. This is called the best thing since sliced bread number dose. That's a pinfall. And this could be the match. And Scott Swerve kicks out. And Brian is like, no. It's like, no. Brian Kendrick is telling him dead shot game. This is me. Countered by Swerve. Now Swerve Scott's trying to end it. Scott, Scott says that's it. It's like that's it. 
And a kick out by Brian. What a start to 205 Live. The newcomer, Swerve Scott, trying to get the big upset over the 205 Live veteran. And Swerve, Swerve, got him. He stomped right on Kendrick and trying to crawl back to him. And Brian seems like he bought the, that, those extra seconds after the stomp that he crawled and he looked for it. Looks like what that might have cost Swerve Scott the match and a, and a dodge. And wait a second, Captain's Hook. Captain's Hook and now rope break save Swerve. And Brian signed up there was no rope break. There was no rope break. And Brian Kendrick, it might be losing it here. And Swerve. Scott's like, I'm good. It's like, I'm good, baby. Swerve Scott. Elbow to the heart of Brian Kendrick. And Kendrick again. Scott thinking himself in the corner. What is it going to take to end this guy? What is it going to take to put Kendrick down? What's he doing here? Swerve. Swerve. Frog splash. Pin follow. Didn't go right for the pin. Usually you go right into the pin. And a kick out by Kendrick. Big time kick. Are you serious? And now Brian Kendrick might be pulling it out a lot together here. And this is not good news for Swerve. Who looked very good at the at the beginning of this matchup here. Now Brian. That's a little bit more effort now. Brian's a little tired too. And you can tell it. Brian, best things to slice bread number nose. And that's it. And Swerve kicks out. Scott is, is amazing tonight. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Swerve. Big kick to save him there. Big kick to knock out Brian. And again, high risk time. And he dodged that one. And Brian turns him over. Captain Hook. Captain Hook with the rope break again. And Brian Kendrick is, is just, this is not. Brian Kendrick is blowing a kiss, telling Isaiah, this is it. Uh, next time I get you, it's over. Headbutt in the corner. Now Brian Kendrick trying to dodge it. Trying to face his whole body here towards Swerve. The pinfall. This could be the match. This could be it. And Scott again kicks out. The crowd here loving this matchup. What a way to kick off 205 Live. A newcomer Scott against the veteran Kendrick. And Kendrick just got laid out. Scott says, I'm just going to stomp you out, man. Like I have to stomp you out at any means necessary. And here comes Scott. Oh, turn! No! No! Now Brian Kendrick. Kendrick throwing himself into this one. Kendrick now. No, 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 no! Best thanks in slice spread number two. The third one of the match. And that's going to do it for Scott. The man with the plan is victorious. What a match. You can't take anything away from Scott in this one. Scott threw everything he had. Scott put everything he had in this one. But at the end of the day, the veteran Brian Kendrick finds a way. Finds a way to get the win in this tough battle. That right there, that could have been it, but that, that extra couple seconds to crawl and get him is what allowed Kendrick to survive. Oh, Kendrick, what are you... Oh, no, what, what is Brian Kendrick doing? Kendrick, what are you doing? Brian, what are you doing? Brian Kendrick pulling... Swerve Scott back into the ring. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? This, are you, Brian? What you're supposed to be the veteran. You're supposed to be better than this. Brian Kendrick, Captain Talk. Wow, this right here. And Scott's tapping out, man. But Kendrick's like that's a message being sent to him. No respect at all from Brian Kendrick. Wow.
the disrespect by Kendrick. We gotta move on, but the disrespect by Brian Kendrick towards Swerve Scott. Now, a lot of you know, and for the past past couple weeks, I've been dealing with these stupid Lucha House Party members and their stupid Lucha House Party rules, whatever the hell they want to call themselves or whatever the hell they want to call the matches they're doing. I've been dealing with it by myself, and every time I have a tag team matchup, we lose. Davari, I'm not out here to call you out. I'm not out here... To say you're the reason why I'm losing, but look at it. When I have one-on-one -on -one matches against those those clowns that hide behind the mask, I win. I produce. The man of the hour produces. The man of the goddamn decade produces. Leo Rush can take them all down one by one and destroy the the legacy of them being a mass luchador. What what does it really mean though? You're just hiding behind a mask and not showing your ugly faces. And wait a second, Sin Cara taking offense to that. And Sin Cara making his way out here now. I wonder what Sin Cara is uh, about to, to say. Sin Cara, a member of the 205 Live roster, Leo Rush. Sin Cara's like, hold on a second. I hope you can hear me right now, Leo, because this is for you. I need you to stop. Just leave us alone now. See, Lucha House Party, they're nothing but fun. They're nothing but having a great time with the fans. And Sin Cara is the exact same thing. But you want to ruin that and take it away from them, huh? I, I'm not about that. See, I just don't see what the whole... The whole deal is with mass luchador. See, the only reason you wear those masks is because you know you can't get, you can't be any better. You're not going to get recognized at all without having some stupid mask on. See, I didn't need a stupid mask on my face to show how good I am. No, you needed a mask to get that attention. You know, no, see, Leo, you don't understand the prestige, the prestige of having this mask. This mask just means more than attention. It means more... Than wrestling, it means a lot more. It, this is who we are. This mask is what we breathe, live, and die for. See, the the mask is one of the most prestigious things in Mexican wrestling. It's our culture. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, you know what, Sin Cara? I don't have a problem with you, but if you wanna make it a problem, we'll make it a problem. You wanna come out here, side with the luchadors? Side with those idiots, the Lucha House Party. That's fine. I'm going to sell this in the ring with you here tonight. I'm going to challenge you to a match. An easy match. Do you accept? That's perfect because I want a match against you, Leo Rush. I want a match to put you and shut you up and get you out of the Lucha House Party. So here's how it's going to be. When I beat you, Leo, you're done fighting the Lucha House Party. You're done with them and you will no longer bother them again. Oh, you wanna you wanna put stuff on the line. Okay, that's fine. See, here it is. If you can beat me, Sinkar, you can beat me, you I'll leave 205 life. I'll be gone. I won't even compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. I'll be gone. But if I beat you, you leave WWE. You leave everything and you get the hell out of town he's he, look wait a second wait a second i'm not leaving the wwe i love the wwe this is my home this is my place this is where i do work 
I'm not risking it all on this tonight just for this. I, I, I can't. Unless you put your career in the WWE on the line. Yeah, you know, you know what? You want to do that? That's fine. If I lose, I'll leave the WWE because I don't want to be in a company that puts people like you over people like me. See, I have worked my ass off with my pure talent and my pure skills while you've just been relying on that mask to make you somebody. Then there's no better time than right now to have that match. Loser leaves the WWE. Loser leaves 205. Loser leaves everything. And Sin Cara stepping to the outside. What's about to go down right now? Here we go, Sin Cara, Leo Rush. About to start this matchup, and a loser, what the f- A loser leaves WWE matchup in Sin Cara, and I, oh my god. Leo Rush almost pulled out the win right there with that maneuver. Loser leaves WWE, Sin Cara, Leo Rush here on 205 Live, and a cutter, god damn! Sin Cara could be out again, and Leo Rush is trying to end this real quick, and trying to end this real fast, and Sin Cara, and a kick out again. And Rush has delivered two big moves already. That's cr that is Leo Rush just doing Leo Rush things. And Rush again, a fast man, a fast paced man. Look at Rush and that hits him off. Not good though. He he took a lot of uh, the bad move to do right now. A time like that slows him down a little bit. Holding on to the ribs right there. Not a smart move by Leo Rush. That was in the smart move. But he's back in control. Working on the leg of Sin Cara. I'm going to try to take away the the high-flying game of Sin Cara. Very smart to take the Luchador's high-risk ability out of the match. As Leo Rush here knows that his time in WWE could be coming to an end if he can't beat Sin Cara here. And Sin Cara with the counter. And now Sin Cara went for something there. And Leo Rush... Again, there's no, there's a reason why they call him Leo Rush, not just because I was sleeping. And there we go, I'm losing it, Leo Rush. Just one, and I kick out though. And Leo Rush telling that you gotta count faster than that. So the ref, you gotta count faster than that. That's as simple as that. There's no slow count here. There's nothing like that. You gotta count faster than that. And Leo Rush telling the people, this is not what you guys love. And Leo Rush going higher risk. He goes about it his own way. Stomp! Stomped on it. And look at this. Going for the pinfall now. He pulled a stomp out of nowhere. And Sankara kicks out again. And look. Oh, come on. Look at Leo Rush. He's trying to beat into Sankara right now. Sankara has not done much offense here in this matchup. And Leo Rush is exploiting that. Leo Rush is going to... What the... F And I kick out. Leo Rush is telling him, you can't. Like, come on. I'm hitting all the big ones now. I'm ending this man's career here. Sin Cara counters it. Sin Cara now has to get it back. Suplex. Northern Light Suplex. Trying to get the pin like this. Trying to catch Leo Rush off guard. But Rush in trouble. Sin Cara, though, is going to risk it all here. Sin Cara. High risk momentum. Moon Salt. Day by Sin Cara. Wait, countered. Wait, roll up. Roll up. Sin Cara might have just got the business. Sin Cara on the kick out. Thought Sin Cara might have just got the business there. Might have just been sent out of his way there. But now Leo Rush a kick. And a oh! A win. Turbo time kick. And that's it. And a kick out by Sin Cara. Leo Rush thought he had him there. I thought he had him there. That was a big time kick. Leo Rush 
Delivered some big moves there, man. The man of the hour. Countered. Whoa, countered. Now Sin Cara, though. What is this? Oh, no! A modified Olympic slam. I'm going to call that the Olympic gold slam. Now Sin Cara. What is Sin Cara thinking here? This, this is not going to end well for Leo Rush. Well, this is not going to end well for Sin Leo. Leo got dropped. And if I know Sin Cara, we know what's coming next. The Swanton Bomb in the future of Leo Rush. But look at Sin Cara. Look how much time it's taking him to get up there. And Leo Rush is up. Tosses him off. Oh, wow. Oh, we're about to see the 24 karat gold. Oh, Leo Rush turns it sideways. And we're calling this match over Sin Cara is gone. Leo Rush has just removed Sin Cara off 205 Live and the WWE. Leo Rush is victorious. Last week, it, it didn't go well for both Cedric and I and and Akira. Akira's not here tonight. Akira just wasn't able to make it here into the night, dealing with some issues back home. But Cedric also not here tonight. Cedric, he's healing right now off the injuries he had. I'm here tonight, though. And I'm here tonight to offer my apology to you, my fans, our fans of Heart and, the Heart and Soul of 205 Live. No, because we know we're better than that. We know we're better than what we showed last week. We know we could have beaten Buddy Murphy and his crew. And I'm not asking for a rematch against them. I'm not. And I know why we were kept off of the tag team showcase tonight. Because I guess Drake Maverick didn't believe in us. He didn't think we had what it takes to be tag team champions. But Cedric and I, we want to be tag team champions. We want to be the first ever cruiserweight Tag Team Champions. See, Cedric was the first Cruiserweight Champ. Wait a second. It's Humberto Carrillo's music playing. Like Carrillo? And I'll leave it, really? Oh, that, that's Angel Garza. This is Angel Garza right here, and I, I wonder what he's doing out here. Um, I don't know what he, why he's interrupting uh, Mustafa Ali. I don't know what is uh, the driving force behind this or what Angel Garza's motives are here tonight. But uh, Ali is like, who the fuck is this guy? PG show one, PG show. 
Hey, what's up, my man? My name is Angel Garza, and I'm Humberto Carrillo's familia. See, he, he's in the back, I'm in the back, we're in the back watching you. And we're enthralled by you and your tag team partner, your sort of brother, Cedric Alexander, right? You guys are kind of like familia too, right? Yeah, he's my brother. Even though we, we're not the same blood and we're not the same kin, he is my brother. Him and I bleed for this division. We are the heart and soul of 205 Live. And, uh, I, you know, I kind of find it disrespectful for you to interrupt me while I'm in the middle of a speech. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm really so sorry. But I just got it right now. Heart and soul... You guys are the heart and soul. That's why you're called heart and soul. Oh, my God. It just clicked on me right now. Oh, no, look, no disrespect. I didn't mean to come out here and disrespect you while you were doing your speech. But I'm a big fan of you and your tag team. That's, thank you. Uh, you know, me and Cedric appreciate that, and we appreciate the respect. But you didn't have, you could have just waited in the back. You didn't have to come out here and interrupt me while I'm addressing the WWE Universe and letting you know how Cedric's doing, how I'm doing, how we're doing here. Because we're a little pissed off that we're not getting tag team championship shots, man. We feel like we've earned them. Oh, dude, you got to be more mellow, man. You got to be more calm, more relaxed. See, Humberto and I, we've been watching you guys. We've been watching you. And we want to make a name for ourselves. And here's what I'm proposing. Next week, you and uh, Cedric come out. And if you don't, we'll find a way to do it. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got you, didn't I? You know what? Me and Cedric, we never back away from a challenge. If your tag team wants to go one on, or wants to go in a tag team battle, then let's go. Your tag team of you and Umberto against me and Cedric, and we'll prove to you why we are the heart and soul and why you just made the biggest mistake and embarrassing yourself, man. And embarrassing ourselves? Okay. And Angel Garza got what he wanted, and now he's attacking Mustafa Ali. Ali is not going to go down, man. Ali is going to fight back. And that's the toughness of Ali. And I don't think Angel Garza knows what kind of battle he just got himself into. Power bomb by Ali. You don't know what you just put yourself into, Garza. You and Humberto don't know. Sweep the legs, Mustafa Ali. Is that going to town right now and beating the crap out of Angel Garza? And Garza just got laid out. Garza and Carrillo next week against Heart and Soul here on 205 Live. And now Garza, oh, that's a big time chop. Now Angel Garza now turns it around here. And oh, counter, there you go. Fight back move. Oh, no, an uppercut. And now a power move. Oh, snake eyes. God damn. Face meets the turnbuckle, man. The face never wins that one. And now on the attack. Oh, man. That's just not. Garza next week in Carrillo against Ali and Cedric. Let's keep going. We are back for more action here tonight before our big main event matchup. This is a match that can steal the show. Noam Dar better watch himself tonight because he's about to go against one of the hardest hitting cruiserweights there is. No and 
Noam Dar here, ready to go, ready to compete, ready to ready to go in action here against Oni Lorkin. Again, Oni Lorkin uh, coming out here to 205 Live now, trying to see what 205 Live has to offer for him. Maybe a championship. Him and Danny Birch can take it together and be champions maybe one day. Who knows? I'm just saying. The Star Destroyer making his way out here. Oni Lorkin ready to start his matchup here against Noam Dar. Noam Dar you can also catch on NXT UK. About to realize he's got in the wrong spotlight with Oni Lorkin. The star. Oh, the man. The star right here. Name. Oni Lorkin's going to hit you real hard. And Noam Dar better be ready for it. I know Noam Dar has been called a chicken on 2K, uh, UK. NXT UK. But he's now got a battle here with Oni Lorkin. And maybe get the best of him. Scott Supernova. Wait, oh, he went for a kick, and Lorkin's like, nope. But I'll catch you here. Power bomb! And look at this. Now Lorkin. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Get the brutality that Lorkin brings. This guy can hit you real hard. This guy can hit you real tough. And you won't even know what day of the week you're in. And oh, I'm Dora right now is feeling the punishment. Of Oni Lorkin. And Lorkin's like, come on, people, let's go. And those kicks, everything he does, it, it hurts. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Who just slapped somebody like that? Lorkin is, is out of his mind, man. A knee right there. Lorkin a little bit old school style, but he hits you so hard. I don't even know, man. No, I'm darn in trouble here. And no, I'm trying to back him off. And look at that. Hit him with one of those. Hit him with a couple of these shots. And he, I don't even think Lord. Oh, no, I'm darn. can't even realize where he is at right now. And look at that. Only Lorkin is on him. Suplex. Even Noam Dar right now. I mean, Noam Dar is a good superstar, but right now, the hard hits of Oni Lorkin might have rattled the brain. Look at this. This might have rattled the brain of Noam Dar. And this is an easy matchup right now. For no, for uh, Oni. And Oni's like, come on, we're gonna end this here. No M Dar, man, doesn't even know where the hell he's at right now. And that's it. Look at this. Guy. Ah, so simple, yet so effective. And that's gonna be it, man. No M Dar has got nothing to do but count to to eleven. Look at Noam Dar now. We give. Look at this. Oni's like, I'm here to get respect. And Noam Dar is like, you beat the hell out of me. You smacked the hell out of me. You beat the crap out of me. You've earned my respect. 
Oni Lorkin earning respect here on 205 Live from the 205 Live Originals. And he's got it, man. He's got he's got it. And this is quite the surprise here. Drake Maverick offering a Chad Gable a chance to see what 205 Live is all about. Trying to steal talent away from SmackDown Live. Chad Gable is here. Man, 205 Live. This is cool. This is cool. Great action tonight, except for the last matchup. It was cool, though, because Oni Lorcan beat the crap out of Noam Dar, and Noam Dar doesn't even know where he's at now. But this is 205 Live. Drake Maverick, thank you for inviting me, and I can't wait for the main event that's coming up next. But I come out here because, because I, I'm going to be blunt with you guys. Drake Maverick has offered me a contract to come compete at 205 Live, and he'll let me compete still on SmackDown Live. So I came out here because I want to feel what you guys think I should do. Should I, Chad Gable, should I get into the 205 Live mindset and fight for the 205 Live? Should I do that or should I just stay on SmackDown Live and compete over there? I, I want to know what you people think. I want to know what you people want to see. Oh, wait a second. What the hell is... What? Cole Quinn and Chad Gable about to meet. How does this man keep coming out every single week? Yes, we're in the hometown tonight of Cole Quinn here tonight. There, the faithful are here for Cole Quinn, and that's what Cole Quinn will tell you. Uh, but here we are, and Chad Gable's like, "Who is this guy? Who let this random fan in?" Or maybe Chad Gable's been watching 205 Live, and maybe he knows a little about Cole Quinn. You have stepped on to my show. Cole Quinn, the Cole Quinn Hour now. Now, the people are getting exactly what they want right now, and that's Cole Quinn. Their fixation of Coleism. That's right, I make up words. But how do you get a contract before me? It's my show here, not yours. Cole, I know exactly who you are. I've been watching the show for a little bit. I've been watching the show and I know what you're about. You you think you deserve a contract, huh? Every single hometown, every single town time, 205 lies in any town, that's your hometown, right? Cole, I'm not here to tell you no and I'm not here to make fun of you. But what do you want? You, you're taking my contract up. That contract that Drake Maverick is offering you, that's mine. That's my contract. That's my pay. That's my spotlight. That's where I belong. I've been fighting. I've been asking for a contract for months. I've been wanting it, and I deserve it. My mentor, Ryan Duggan, is going to take a little bit of a step right now away from the game. I, I know Ryan, and I, I know he's not stepping away because he needs a break. Well, he does. He needs a break from you because you're just tiring, Cole Quinn. You're exhausting. See, I'm out here because I'm asking the fans if they want to see me in a 205 Live ring. And guess what? They're going to see me next week. I'm going to put that contract on the line against you, Cole Quinn. How about that? You're going to do that? The people here in my hometown tonight, they will love that. They want to root for their boy Cole Quinn next week. As Cole Quinn will get his chance to become the newest member of 205 Live, and I can't wait for that opportunity. I can't wait till I beat you next week, Chad. Cole, I can't wait to put you in the ring and maybe shut you up, man, because the one thing about it is that you've been one of the most annoying things about 205 Live for the last couple of weeks, and I'm ready to end the Cole Quinn saga. That's what's going to happen next week when I beat you. The Cole Quinn saga never ends now, buddy boy. The Cole Quinn saga will continue next week as I finally get my contract for 205 Live. 
And guess what, Cole? I'm never losing to a guy named Chad. What kind of a name is that, huh? What kind of a name is that, huh? That's a terrible name, man. Don't you be coming after my name. What kind of name is Cole Quinn? What kind of name is that, huh? Cole? Cole? What? Really? Like Michael Cole? Are you, like, what? Really? You're going to come after my name? I'll come after your name. But you know what? Next week, we'll let the wrestling do the talking. Because I'm going to beat you one, two, three in this ring and take my spot on 205 Live. You shut your mouth. This name is a family namesake. Cole Quinn is a precious name. And next week, I'm going to beat you one, two, three, and send you back to SmackDown Live where you can tell all those people that Cole Quinn is the real deal. And Cole Quinn tossing the mic. And Chad Gable and Cole Quinn next week. Alex Shelley making his 205 live debut, teaming up with Kushida here. This is going to get very interesting right here, and I can't wait to see what occurs here tonight. It's a crowd here waiting patiently. For the next man to come out here. We all know who it is. It is. It's one of the best kids that we got out here. It is Kushida's time to make his 205 live debut. Kushida. Kushida making his way down, man. The time splitter doing everything he needs to do. Ready? Him and his tag team partner, Alex Shelley, hoping for the best of luck tonight here. What's up? Mice? No chicas? Okay. 
I will be back, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the entrances. The odd pairing of Raul Mendoza and uh, Mr. Wild. But hey, Greg Maverick said, hey, I got to make some wild pairings. I got to make some teams happen. I got to see what can click and what does not click. And hoping that this clicks here for him as uh, Mendoza and Wild ready to tag up here. And it's going to be quite the interesting battle here. Mike Canellas and Tony Nese together. Kushida and Alex Shelley. And the Lucha House Party are here. Metalik and Kalisto. Lucha House Party ready to, to do the thing here. Ready to see what they can handle. And this is, I can't wait to see these four teams just battle it out, man. This is just to prove, this is just to see the tag team that 205 Live has under their belt to see which is which are the best tag teams. There's more tag teams that we're not all fully seeing here. As now Shell, everybody's just throwing hands here. And this is what I'm ready to see. What team comes out victorious here? First pinfall wins the matchup. It's a tornado style type of tag team matchup. So you got to make sure you're always watching your partners back, watching everybody. You got to watch all other seven men in the ring. Make sure no one's getting pinned. Make sure no one's getting the loss on for you know loss against you. A lot of these men making a, a big statement tonight. New to and it's new to 205 Live. Like Wild Joaquin Wild is new to 205 Live. Alex Shelley, Mr. Kushida. Mr. Mendoza, and then you got a couple of uh, other guys who we've seen a lot of times in action here. Kalisto, Menelik, Mike Canellis, Tony Nice. This is quite the pairing. This is quite the split. And look at Wild on Alex Shelley right here. Alex Shelley and Wild, veterans of the craft, just like Kushida, just like Mendoza. All these guys here on 205 Live. The talent that 205 Live possesses. It's crazy. We got a lot of talent. We got a new a lot of new lot of people here. We got some great veterans here as well for the 205 Live brand. And Drake Maverick mixing it up here. And I like it. I like what Drake Maverick has to do here. Now Kalisto suplexing Mendoza. You got Kushida out in the outside with Mike Canellis. You got Tony Nice mixing it up with Metalik. You got Wild and Shelly. And then you got it all. Just everyone picking a dance partner right now to go here with. But again, this is all eyes right here of the 205 Live Nation. The 205 Live fans are watching this. And look at that suplex, that arrow. That's just as Tony Nese being dominant. He wants to prove tonight. He knows Buddy Murphy's watching in the back. He, this is more to prove to Buddy Murphy, like, hey, you picked the right guys to be part of your gang. You picked the right guys to lead you, to help you out and get championships and dominate. Mike Canales on the outside. Mike Canales is telling Tony Nese, I'm coming in, baby. We're about to take dominance here. We're about to do what we got to do. Canellas wants to prove he's a champion. He believes he's a champion. He knows he's a champion. And look at that right there by Tony Nese. Smacking each other wild now. Going back after Shelly. Canellas knocks down Kalisto. And look at this. Look at this. Submission went over there. Oh, the rope break though saves Kalisto. Lucky for uh, Kalisto there was a rope break there. But the whole eyes turned over there when that submission up was applied. And now Kalisto hit drop. Oh my God, that that could have ended that could have ended the man right there. A 
The tacos are ready. I need to go get my tacos. I got tacos. I'm gonna get my tacos right now. While y'all enjoy this this matchup here. This is 205 Live, baby. Where are my tacos at? I need... Wait, wait a second. Alex Shelley drops Mike Canales. Metal League now on Kushida. Oh, no. I thought we were about to say something crazy there. Metal League now turns it around here on Kushida. Now Metal League turns it around. Suplexing the life out of Canales. And the sweep the legs by Tony Nice. Tony Nice sweeps the legs on Mendoza. Now look at Wild. A lot of action just going on. Super kick missed by Tony Nice. Kaliso now trying to get into this and a head scissor and this oh wait Mendoza says no no head scissor there for you and so much Tony but lots of moonsault standing moonsault by Raul Mendoza on to Alex Shelley Tony Nice now looking to capitalize and we've seen this oh yes the complete finisher that's beautiful and kaliso has got the submission and Tony Nice saved his tag team partner Mike Canales from losing that one and now Kalisto sees an opportunity. He's going to drag Canellis around. And Canellis now in trouble. Kalisto says, I'm pinning. I'm pinning. And Tony Nice makes the save on his tag team partner right there. That's what you got to do in this type of matchup. Save your tag team partner. Mendoza dropping Alex Shelley. What a suplex. Backbreaker to Kalisto. Big kick from Kushida to Wild. Alex Shelley thrown to the outside. Now Kushida has to deal it for his team here. Save his team here. And here he's going to use the speed. Went after Kalisa there. Nothing there. Mike Canellis flips it around here. Canellis drops Kalisto there. And now Mendoza standing. Standing Uranagi. Going for the super kick. Nothing there for Mendoza. Super kick to Tony Nice. And Tony Nice is down. Shelly trying to wrap it up here. Wrapping it up on Kalisto's partner, Grand Elite. Pinfall, Shelly trying to wrap up the win. Kalisto better make the save. And Kalisto saves his tag team partner. Saves the match right there. And now, Alex Shelly. Alex Shelly, who's won multiple tag teams outside of WWE, multiple tag team championships, is an accomplished tag team wrestler. But not with Kushida, with other, other people. And look at Tony Nese trying to end. Kushida here. Face flat right there by Wild on Metal League. Kushida laid out. And now Kushida is up. But wait, Metal Tony Nice trying to get the win. Tony Nice and Kalisto makes the save. Kalisto saves his tag team partner. And now Mike Canellis is like, I gotta put him down, I guess. Canellis drops him. Submission. And is Metal League gonna tap? Is Metal League gonna tap? Oh no, Metal League gets out of it. Metal League found a way out of it, man. Toughness of Metal League still to stay in this matchup. Everybody's trying to keep away and everyone's trying to find something here. And a backbreaker. Wait, Metal League. Troubled backbreaker by Wild. And what is Mendoza doing? What is Mendoza? Mendoza flying high! Mendoza takes out Tony Nese. What a high risk maneuver. And knocks out Tony Nese with a high kick. The fans chanting, this is awesome. These eight men doing everything and anything to take the show. And look at Kalisto trying to wrap the win. And a kick out by Shelly. Again, so close, man. So close. All eight men back into the ring. All eight men fighting, battling. Something's got to give. Someone's got to lose this matchup. Someone's got to quit in them. And Kalisto better realize that there's a pin behind him. And Mike Canellas makes a save of Tony Nice there. Now Raul Mendoza's in trouble here. Kalisto going to the outside. Going to get a little bit of a breather outside. Kushida throws Raul Mendoza like nothing. And now Tony Nice is in control of Mendoza. And look at the strength of Tony Nice here. Look at that. That's a... That strength. The premier athlete showing just that. Walls of Jericho by Alex Shelley. Roll up pin by Metalik. And the save right there. And Wild finding a way out of that right there. These men. Go, Carol, look at Metalik. Lays out Mike Canales. 
And a nice shot to the back of the head of Kalisto. Wild again. Something's got to give. Somebody's got to give up on this one. Kushida dodges Manalik's attack. Now Alex Shelley attacking Kalisto. Kushida has got the submission on Mendoza. Mendoza might not find a way out. The strength of Tony Nese. Wait, turns it around. And Alex Mendoza finds out of that the submission. One, two, and a kick out by Shelley. Shelley. Tony Nese is thinking to himself, what the hell we got to do? What's got to happen here? Because... I, I don't know. Now Tony Nese focusing on Wild. The Canellas in trouble here. Tony Nese's tag team partner could be taken out here as another league now. Now Canellas finds a way out. Super kick. They knock down Canellas. And now Shelly. Going after Nice. And what is Metalik waiting for? Metalik was waiting for a Metalik driver there, but Alex Shelley got in the way of that. Drop kick drops him. And now, oh, Kalisto! By old Mendoza, high risk. Watch yourselves. And look at Cup Mendoza just threw his body out of there. Wait a second. Selena! No! Soul! And Tony Nice breaks it up at a two count. But that could have been it. That could have been the match. We'll go get my tacos. This back and forth battle, Tony Knees, Tony Knees has just done it! Murphy's gang is victorious! But you got to give it to every single man in this matchup. Every single man gave it their all. But Buddy Murphy's boys, Buddy Murphy's gang is victorious here tonight. Are we looking at our future tag team champions? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been 205 Live. Oh, baby, I, I, am, I don't know what to even say.